Hello YouTube and welcome to another Lentendo video. It's taken me a little while to get around to making this video uh, because if I'm honest uh, I've been pretty lazy uh, so here it is. The best graphics for the SNES 9X emulator on Android. In my opinion anyway. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set the in my opinion, what is the best graphics for the SNES 9X emulator for Android devices. Um, now just for this video's purpose, uh, I'm capturing what you see here uh, using a laptop and an Android emulator. But to get the full effect, uh, it really does need to be done on a mobile device. Okay, so first what you want to do here is open up the SNES 9X EX Plus emulator for Android. Uh, that's the one I'm using. It's free. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'll load a game. We'll start off with Donkey Kong. When I set graphic settings, I like to set them uh, for a few different games. Just so I'm getting the best graphics uh, that looks great on all the games. Uh, so I've just got this mapped to uh, the, the keyboard on the laptop here. These are the default settings. No changes made. I'll go ahead and hit the back button. No, I don't want to exit. So if I go down to options, now there's two two different types of graphic settings that I like. Um, so I'll show you both of those here. So what you want to do is go to video. Now by default, image interpolation uh, is set to linear. Uh, I like to turn that off and you can see the, the image in the background there even that just turning that off makes a bit of a difference there's a bit of a blur to it when it's on it takes out that blur the image is a little bit more sharper so you could probably go ahead and just leave it like that if you really wanted uh, but I do make a few more changes so go back into options video so image interpolation is set to none and the next one I go to is overlay effect and I set scan lines two times and then overlay effect level and I change this to 75% now you can change that to be whatever you like um, my preference is 75% uh, you may feel a little bit differently um, but it doesn't matter, this is what I set it to and it looks great in my opinion. Now I did say there was two different ones that I like to set. If I go back into options, video, the other one I like to set is image interpolation is still set to none except the overlay effect uh, I set to CRT mask and then the overlay effect level I set to 50% again this is my preference you can set this higher lower uh, or you could set, not set this at all if you prefer the game as is um, by default so just exit out of here and show you what that looks like. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you the exact same settings uh, with a different game. I find that the settings that I use here uh, looks great on all of the games. Uh, but I do like to just see how they look um, and see if there's any differences between certain games. Uh, so this is this is default settings at the moment. No graphic settings have been changed uh, for this game as of yet. I'll 
exit out. Go into your options. Video. Turn off image interpolation. Overlay effect. Set that to scan lines times two. Or scan lines two times. And then the overlay effect level. out of here and go back into the game. You can see a bit of a difference there. I'll just exit out now and show you the other option as well. Uh, and again, image interpolation set to none. Overlay effect set to CRT mask. And overlay effect level set to 50%. Now between the, those two, there's not a huge difference. Um, that's why I use those two settings uh, because they look they look great to me. This game seems to glitch a fair bit with the uh, keyboard that I'm using. And the other game I like to set is Super Mario All Stars. This game looks pretty good um, with the default settings uh, and I find even on a phone the default settings are okay. And if you look at the image there in the background you can see that it's a little bit blurry here and as soon as we turn that off it's a little bit more sharper. You see the, the pixel edges, uh, it's just much more crisp. Uh, now some people may prefer the blurred look um, but I don't, I like it looking as close as possible to the original even though it's not on the original console. Now this video doesn't quite do these settings justice. Uh, it does look much better in person and on a mobile device. This is basically just to show you the changes that I make personally uh, and what I think looks great. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, uh, I would suggest playing around with it on your phone uh, and seeing what you like best. Now these are the only setting changes that I make. Uh, I do sometimes set the screen resolution higher uh, because it looks great on some games more so than it does with others um, but I'll pop those settings on screen now uh, just so you can see them a bit more clearly as to which ones I make changes to. Now I did try and capture these settings on a mobile uh, but with my camera there was just too much reflection on the mobile so I've left that out of this video. So there we are guys those are the settings that I use personally uh, if you found this video helpful please leave a comment in the comment section below uh, or even just that like button if you like this video uh, and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you'd like to see more from me. See you later, bye.